Kicking off, we've got the Supernatural spinoff, which, you know, let's be honest, Supernatural spinoffs don't have the best track record oh, of two. making it to air. So when, when, they're, when they're talking about the Winchesters, which is uh, actually being brought up on, uh, by Jensen Eccles and how do you say his wife's name? I always say Daniel, but I it, I don't know if it's Daniel, Danielle, Danielle. Yeah, so I it looks like Daniel. So anyway, yeah. um, sounds like an angel name, right? Because you know Castiel, yep. Uriel, and she's pretty. So Gabriel, uh, yeah, maybe, she was in a few episodes too. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? Um, but so so yeah, Jensen is is working with the uh, former co executive producer Robbie Thompson. And they've got a script commitment, so it's written. Um, and I don't, I don't know what the next steps are. It's like really early on, but this is before Dan. Damn, <laughs> this is before Sam and Dean. Uh, and it's about John and Mary Winchester, told from the perspective of Dean, who Jensen Eccles will be back for that as the narrator, which I think kind of seems interesting. But it says. The Winchesters is the epic untold love story of how John met Mary and how they put it all on the line to not only save their love, but the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was telling you, well, one, this is a, this might be a little different from the other failures because both of those, uh, it was called one was called Bloodlines and what was called the Wayward Sisters. Yeah, they both had backdoor pilots where. That were and then like in the sense of during the season of Supernatural, these characters were given you know front and center stage, and it just kind of they both fizzled out. They neither one of them got picked up. Yeah. So this is a little different in that respect. And like I, t I was telling you before we went to air, is that there's a little bit of uh, and you you actually and you can explain what you what you mentioned, but there's actually kind of a continuity issue a little bit in the in the sense because. Mary, no, or I should say, John never knew that Mary hunted until her her father, until Mary's father and mother were killed. Mm -hmm. And I just, and one of the things I knew that one because I just watched the reaction to that episode, season four, episode three, when Castiel sends Dean back in time, basically to say, "Look, dude, you can't change things. Mm -hmm. I mean, things happen." But you made an interesting point because, and again time travel and all the wonkiness dean was the one that helped his father pick out the impala right well how, how, so all of that is just the same whole time travel spiel of okay that how does that work that's kind of a paradox isn't it right so but you mentioned that hey dean coming there could have been changed something even slightly where now john knows about hunting and him and, and this series is the him and mary doing the hunting or what have you before Dean, before Sam. Right. Because I believe this was like nine years before Dean was born. I'm not exactly sure. It was like nine or ten years before right. Dean was born. I mean, because it says here, I mean, Mary was killed by a demon when Sam was still when Sam was still a baby. Uh, investigating her death, John becomes a hunter and then passes his knowledge and skills. I'm, they should put skills in quotes and knowledge for that matter in quotes uh, onto his son's. John was a recurring character in the first season, died in the second season premiere. Spoilers, but that was like 18 years ago, so suck it. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so honestly, I think probably what happened is is Dean, like what would be really interesting is if it, it picks up where Dean tells him to get the Impala and then like they do that little like supernatural like montage flash that they would do when they would like show real quick what happened in the previous season um yeah and in its current and then they go in a different direction like this is a different timeline um see i i could get with that like that uh, would be like cool. when, honestly when i first heard this news as big as you know i was i was one of those i was on the ground floor of supernatural when it started the first episode i watched and i've watched it since then i never it's not like smallville where i took a break for a few months or something mm -hmm. i've watched supernatural every week live since since it's been you know it's been a thing yeah so I, I was I, watched, I was kind of i started watching in season three mm -hmm. um, and i watched season three first because i got my father-in-law the dvds and then i took the digital codes 
because that's when like they used to give you the digital codes for for iTunes with with all the TV shows. And I watched season three before I watched anything. <laughs> um, and then went back and watched seasons one and two. And then the only season I watched appointment viewing was season five. Yeah, season five was great. And then I didn't watch it again until the 10 year retrospective of season five. <laughs> the, the 10 year retrospective? Yeah. That, you know, that's, it was, that's... It, I mean, it was nice how Sam and Dean got back together 10 years later. I mean, unfortunately, Dean died, but you know, it was uh, it was a really like just great reunion special. Like after like and who, who does that 10 years after a show goes off the air? So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're never letting that go. I'm committed to the bit. <laughs> but yeah, I honestly. I was kind of leery about it, but, you know, talking with you and what and reading some of this stuff, despite uh, Jarrett Padalecki's little, little yeah, minor we'll, Twitter meltdown. We'll get to meltdown. that in a sec. So I thought this was going to be animated. You thought it was going to be The first what? time I read through this, I would have swore it said animated, that it was going to no. be an animated There show. is actually a supernatural animated. There is, yeah. Like, which I, I, I never got a chance to watch. Uh-oh. It's, it's that anime style. I guess you're you're not like. a part of the uh, SNP fam. <laughs> what is, I've wait, never what, been. What was that hashtag? SPN family. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm I've never been to a convention either. Natural. Yeah. You've never been to a so, comic book convention. That's right. Or no, supernatural convention. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, all right. So the, this is not this this announcement today was not without or yesterday whatever it was was not without its controversy. Uh, apparently, Jensen didn't let Jared Padalecki in on what was happening, and Jared did the thing <clears throat> that if you know someone in real life, you should never do. He went straight to Twitter, and uh, I'm going to read his tweets. Um, but I'm going to read them in Jared's voice. Dude, happy for you. Wish I <laughs> wish I heard about this some way other than Twitter. I'm excited to watch, but bummed that Sam Winchester has no involvement whatsoever. Your name is Jared Padalecki. You are not Sam did Winchester. You, you, That's a character you did not just do the goddamn clap. TV show. Yeah, I did. I did. I did the claps. Because... That pissed me off right there. It's like, dude, you, 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 you were a character on a show, and and let's be honest, you were the lesser of the two brothers. Just putting it out there. Pretty much. Um. So yeah. So then. So he does that, and then you know some. Um. Soy filled individual replies. Uh, this has got to be a bad ja- bad joke. Hello, Jar Pad and Jensen Eccles. This ain't it, sirs. We're freaking out. And Jared replies, no, it is not. This is the first I've heard about it. I'm gutted. Uh, followed up by the, hey, world, thanks for the love. Please, please, all caps, don't send any hate or threats because you know that's what these douchebags just jump to. I care deeply mm-hmm. about everyone involved in would be in true misery if any of them were harmed or threatened, then why did you go out and put it on Twitter first? Why? All right, here's his last tweet. At Jensen Eccles and I had a great talk, as we do often, and things are good. The show is early in the process with miles to go. We've traveled a lot of roads together, and sometimes those damn roads have bumps. Bumps don't stop us. Once brothers, always brothers. Hashtag SPN family. All right, if you're brothers... You should have just picked up the phone immediately and been like, what the hell, dude? What the hell? Like, what? I want to be involved. I want to, I want to be the co-narrator. That I want my dopey voice to, to be on there instead of your cool, gravelly voice. Yeah. And th- it's, that's exactly it. People. So. I know. Don't use Twitter yeah. to let out. Tw- no. I t- let me backtrack. Do not use social media to have little conniption Don't fits. Don't air your dirty or, laundry. Yes. If you have a problem with somebody that you know, don't put it on social media. Talk to that person. So like I told Brian. Even if you don't know that person, yeah, figure out how to just, get in touch with them and do it privately. Yeah. You know? yeah, do, yeah, do a DM where you say, hey, can we chat about X, Y, or Z? Yeah. But like like I said, hey, 
I, I thought it was a little bit weird that Jensen did not call him and say, hey, you know, but this announcement's going out. He could have done it the same day before they sure. sent out the tweet or whatever. Like, he, hey, he could have done so it, you know, like, yeah, like minutes before. Like, hey, by the way, this is about yeah. to be tweeted. Peace out. Yeah. That's all. So that's all. I think that's on Jensen. However, with that being said, Jarrett is a big boy. I mean, yeah, he's literally, like six, he's 6'5. Five. Five. Yeah, he's giant. And jacked. Dude, pick up the phone. You all have worked together for 15 years, unlike what Brian says, <laughs> and call the guy. It was okay? five years and one one hour special. <laughs> Come on. Like, they barely know each other. Let's be honest. No, you're right. Okay, no, how, you're right. how about they've a nice together. compromise? They've known each other for 15 years. No, you're right. They've worked together for 15 <laughs> years. And, you know, they have. They've been, they spent a lot of time shooting in, in the front seat of an Impala, um, driving up and down roads. I mean, that, that, there's probably the majority of time filmed in the whole show was them in the front seat of a car. Oh, there's a ton of time right? with that. So, I mean, they were always yeah. there. And, you know, it, but th- what bothers me, what bothers me is this, is he knows what Twitter is, right? Yes. He 100% knows. And and to, to, to make the statement of, you know, uh, please don't send anything. Oh, I hate her threads. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew you wanted to have somebody go and shit on Jensen Eccles' day by doing just what you did. Because your little feelings were hurt. Yeah. So, and then the 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 soy filled individual. This ain't it, sirs. It's not up to you. I don't care if you're freaking out. Like you you're 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 a stupid Stan account. Like go away. Yeah, and the for him to say I'm got it. Yeah. Yeah, I if, sure if would like mine gutting you, boy. Right. If you uh, <laughs> if you don't use your own name on social media, like I believe none of what you say. <sighs> and everyone's like, "Oh, anonymity, and and anonymity, anonymity." You know what? Nope. Uh, not for you. Not no. Nobody. No. I. My, no. my all my social stuff is my name. So if I say something, I said it. If it got hacked, mm-hmm. it's still under my name. I have to deal with that. It's not like I'm Jay Williams and going to say something stupid and be like, oh, I was hacked. No, you're a moron. Um, but, yeah, so so here's the thing. This takes away from the excitement of the show for me, 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, not because uh, Sam Winchester, a.k.a. Jared Padalecki, isn't involved, um, but because it's already starting on a note of people are going to be divisive about it because it's just one of the brothers. Yeah. So, but it, it, again, people are not are not going to understand that this is not the brother's story. No. Yes, Jensen Ackles is narrating, but he is not his. He's. It's not going to be like Dean is going to be in the show as we've known him for right. all this time. He's the executive producer as well. So you know, again, Dean, Dean <laughs> Jensen. Left the CW like this. This is a Warner Brothers. This is gonna be a Warner Brothers show. It's probably gonna end up on HBO Max. Let's be honest. It's probably not gonna be on the CW. That would actually Jared, make it more interesting for absolutely, me. Absolutely right. Jared Padalecki stayed with the CW. He's doing the the you know the 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 homeless man's version of Chuck Norris, and you know, great. You're you're on the most popular show on the CW. That's awesome. I'm happy for him that he found something. You know, Jensen is stretching his wings. He's gonna go do the boys. He's doing a bunch of different things. He's gonna executive produce this. He voiced Batman in the Long Halloween. Um, awesome. Like he's trying different things. Everybody should be happy for him. Uh, what I'm disappointed about is that he's going back to the supernatural well so early. Yeah. So I don't know. Um. But yeah, so this is something to follow. Uh, obviously, um, I don't think either of them were right in how it was handled, but I think one of them handled it better than the other one. Yes, 